Welcome to Songtrust After Hours Brunch Edition. Today we'll be making my favorite drink, a Bloody Mary. And while we make it, let's chat about the six exclusive rights you have as a copyright owner. Just as the Bloody Mary's origin is shrouded in mystery, it's often a mystery to songwriters just what rights they have when they create a song and at what point these rights are earned. The first and most important thing to know is that you, the songwriter, automatically own the copyright of your song as soon as it is finished. By finished, we mean that you have the song in any tangible form, whether it's a final studio recording, a voice memo on your phone, or written down on paper. As the copyright owner of the song, you automatically have six exclusive rights that allow you to use your music in a variety of ways. The first right is to reproduce your copyrighted work in a physical or digital format. This can be in the form of CDs, vinyl, or on streaming platforms. The second is that you can create a derivative work of the original copyright, meaning you can make different versions like an acoustic or remix version of the song for release. The third is the right to publicly distribute the copies or reproductions you have created. This means you have the right to work with a distributor or self-distribute songs via streaming platforms, download stores, or physical retail stores. The fourth right, in the case of musical, literary, dramatic, or choreographic works, motion pictures, or other audiovisual works, is that you have the right to perform the work publicly. The fifth right is to display your copyrighted work publicly, similar to public performance, but visual display only. This one doesn't come into play often, but it would mean you could display the sheet music and lyrics for your song in a public space. The sixth and final right you have in the case of sound recordings is to digitally transmit in order to publicly perform. This basically means your songs can be played over satellite or broadcast radio, digital streaming, or another type of public performance that doesn't involve a person playing the song live for an audience. Hopefully by now you understand the rights you innately have as a copyright owner. To learn more about copyright and publishing, head on over to songtrust.com and enjoy responsibly. Cheers!